ಓಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿಮಿಗಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ ಮೀಲಿತ ಮೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ this we build on Prabhupada's desire. Prabhupada said about spreading the Krishna Conscious Movement all over the world. If you don't do it, someone else will come and do it. So, no. That's, we'll, we'll see. No. We're getting Prabhupada's mercy. Yes. <laughs> Bhakti Vinod said, anyone who takes part in erecting this temple, He said he'll personally come and take you back to Gaia, personally by the hand. So this is the, uh, this is the boldness of our movement, which Prabhupada was boldness personified. That despite so many things that have happened, we have faith in the, uh, that the mercy of Prabhupada is there, we can take it. And we can, we can't, but he being his instruments, we can perform that which he, uh, the tasks, stupendous tasks that he left us to do. So, one of the godbrothers of Prabhupada told me, he said, uh, uh, my Guru Maharaj, and the Bhakti Stam says, was like a lion. He's known as the lion guru. And he said, your Guru Maharaj was also like a lion. So he said, you should also all be just like lions. Lions don't give birth to rabbits. <laughs> so if you're really followers of Prabhupada, then we should take up the task. Now, Sri Ramaraj on behalf of Prabhupada, the whole PTC is giving us a challenge. Now, he has stated that Kamsa, Kamsa Maharaj, he was a king. Samanu Tapta, he, Tapta means heart, heart is burning. The Samanu Tapta means he's feeling. In the same way as Vasudeva and Devaki, he's sympathizing with them, feeling what they are feeling. He's feeling compassion. Is he? Is he really? Compassionate in the same way that Vasudev and Devaki are. Vasudev and Devaki are great pure devotees of the Lord. They're famous as great devotees of the Lord. And Kamsa is famous for being a great demon. But here he's expressing some compassion. Those who are non-devotees, they may possess many qualities, but they're not the same as the qualities of devotees. They're not kutomahanguna, they're not fully developed, they're not great qualities. Because the qualities that a non-devotee may have are simply produced from the mental platform. Manorate nasati bhavato vidhi. Simply on the external mental platform, a non-devotee may have qualities. An actual devotee has qualities which are developed or inherent from the spiritual platform of love of Krishna. Therefore, the Here it's the, the sympathy or the empathy, the, the compassion of Kamsa. And that we can understand, it's not really, it's, it's compassion, but not in the same way as that of a pure devotee. And the test of that will be, is that his character doesn't actually change. He goes on being a demon. If he was actually sympathetic, then he should have also become... A devotee. He did eventually, when he came here to Mayapur, as Chan Kazi, then by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he became a uh, devotee. But he will carry on with his atrocious activities. This, this chapter is entitled, The Atrocities of King Kamsa. 
So he goes on being atrocious. Atyacha, whoever is in Sanskrit, sounds almost the same. Atyacha, atrocious activities. That example Prabhupada gave also, that so many people will say, I have seen Rasa Lila. I saw Krishna in my dream. But then the question is then, uh, you know, why did you get up in the morning and have a cup of coffee just like every other morning? Why did you go on with your materialistic way of life? If you actually saw Krishna, and then you would, if that was uh, from the spiritual platform and not from the platform of your mental fabrication, then uh, you would have not come back to your materialistic way of life. Your, your life would have changed. So in the same way, Kamsa, he's feeling some compassion. So that's on the relative platform that is good. Even among demons, there are different classes. Prabhupada gave an example of, he saw in Calcutta, Prabhupada described, actually there was a class here in Mayapur, he was describing this, about uh, the demoniac mentality. And he described as, a, he remembers seeing on the, because uh, everything in India tends to be kind of gross. That, that's stated also in the, in the Bhagavatam, that everyone gets their karma exactly according to, exactly according to the mold it should be in India. So, uh, in the Western countries they have slaughterhouses. They keep them a long way away from the city. But in the hotels or the restaurants then uh, in India and other places like China, they, they have fresh food for you, not for you, but for those who like to eat such things. Chickens, they'll be slaughtered right there and cooked right there on the spot. So Prabhupada was describing how the man in the uh, hotel, that means the restaurant, he was cutting the chicken, cutting the chicken's throat. And his son, who hadn't been fully trained up yet, was crying. And the father, fully trained up means whatever the father does, the son does. So in course of time, he'd also be cutting chicken's throats. A potter's son becomes a potter, a barber's son becomes a barber, a thief's son becomes a thief, and he works like that. So the hotel owner, his son, was getting trained up and cutting throats. So the son was crying. And the father said, why are you crying? It's very nice. It's very nice to watch the chicken screeching and, and suffering. He was thinking it's nice. So Prabhupada was citing this as an example of the demoniac mentality. People take pleasure in seeing the sufferings of others. Paradukasuki. They take pleasure in seeing the sufferings of others. And they are the reverse, or the, no, not the, the concomitant factor of that is Parasukaduki. When someone is happy, they become unhappy. That is called envious mentality. They don't like to see others happy. So Kamsa, as Maharaj is pointing out, that was very interesting, I never thought about that before, that uh, Kamsa, when he, at one point it seemed that he was going to be so, not such a bad demon, but then his advisors came and said, hey look, you know, we've got to get serious here. Let's, uh, let's start persecuting the Yadavas, the Vishnis, the Andas, the Bhoja, the so Kamsa said, yeah, you're right, okay, let's do it. But himself, his own inclination was to be a little bit gentle. Not, not very gentle, but not as bad as his, uh, due to bad association, which means stated the promise, it's due to bad association, he came to a demon among demons, uh, the paragon for the demons. So here he's feeling some compassion for Devaki. Because after all, there's some family relationship. And we had the example of Auschwitz. I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but anyway, whatever it is. So uh, Hitler was overseeing that, and um, Maharaj was telling the story of just, it must have been some, you know, some Herr Schmidt who somehow became the head of Auschwitz. And uh, the 
Jewish gentleman and saw him fainted because he really that now I'm here to accuse him, but that could have been me. If I, in that situation, due to bad association, maybe I'd have done the same thing. So Hitler, Himmler, and all these uh, nasty people ahead of Auschwitz. The same day that uh, the head of Auschwitz must have been sending so many Jews to the gas chamber, he probably went home and patted his son on the head and played with him and was very nice to him. He was, and if his son, he, so many Jews he sent him for slaughter, but then if the uh, if his son tripped over, oh, oh, quick, pick him up. Oh, did it hurt? He said, does it hurt? He doesn't, did it hurt? The son fell over and scratched his knee because it's all hypothesis. And the same day he's sending thousands of people to slaughter. So he's feeling some compassion. But that's all in relationship to his body. In the about two purports previously, the uh, proper quotes comes as an example of Dehatma Bhutti. Everything that is in relationship, I am my body, and everything that is in relationship to my body is of importance to me. And that which is not uh, connected directly with my body, then uh, I don't have, then you can cut the chicken's throat, you can gas the Jews, but my own family, this is his extended sense gratification, because he feels a relationship with his family members, so he feels for their suffering, but he doesn't feel for the sufferings of others beyond that. So a materialist may be said to be more, ad, more advanced in apparent saintliness according to the extent he had the extent according to the extent of the field of his extended sense gratification. A total out and out demon. He's the he's only cares for himself, and modern society is promoting that total selfishness. Oh, I, me, and mine, and that's it. I, me, and just me, 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 and me, not even mine. I, Ahamamati is I, me, and mine, but total selfishness is only I and me, and there's no mine. I just other every living being is meant for my exploitation. But then others, they may say, have my family. And others may extend that more, my country, and others may extend their field of compassion to the whole human race. And others may feel, but save the whale, or <laughs> if they extend their compassion to other living beings, save, save the butterflies, <laughs> something like this. So they become vegetarians out of a sense of compassion on other living beings. So that is more advanced, becoming a vegetarian out of compassion for the suffering living beings, that is more advanced than slaughtering chickens to eat them. However, as long as one does not understand one's relationship with Krishna, then ultimately that feeling of compassion that is a, how do you call that? a transformation of one's own desire for sense gratification. Because once one sees, one takes the position himself of Suhridam Sarva Bhutana. Instead of recognizing Krishna as the friend of all other living beings, he thinks, I am so friendly, I am so nice to all other living beings. But as long as one refuses to accept that Krishna is the supreme living being and everyone should act for his pleasure, then his so-called being friendly to others, that will be perverted. By, uh, the, the, one is friendly to others from a, by cultivating a feeling that I am good, I am nice. Robert uh, gave the example of the, there's a certain mission which is very prominent in Bengal. 
not a Christian mission, a Hindu mission, that they believe that Man, they have created a slogan that Manava Seva is Manava Seva. Service to man is service to God. And they've also invented a term, Daridra Narayana, that we should see all human, we should see all people as God. What a, what a high sentiment. What a wonderful sentiment. No, it's wrong. It's rascal. Narayana is Narayana. And everyone else is Narayana Ansh, part and parcel of Narayana. So they've invented especially the term Daridra Narayana. The poor man is God. I'm a rich man. I'm a rich Narayana. This is a poor Narayana. So I'm in a better position than the poor Narayana. So we should serve the Daridra Narayana. And how shall we serve the hungry? Daridra means poverty strip. So we should serve him by cutting the throats of of the goats and feeding them healthy meat, not considering what the Prabhupada said, the Chaga Narayana, the goat Narayana. If you're going to say the man is God and the poor man is God, why not the goat? Why do you cut his throat? So your compassion on, for one living being, uh, where's the compassion for another living being? And then of course you may say uh, that we love all living beings, we love the embryos and the germs and every living being, but actually it is not possible to love every living being while being envious of the prime living being. If we deny our relationship with Krishna, that is violence. If we promote humanitarianism, ethics, goodness, and all these things, but don't teach others that you can only actually be happy and you can only actually be benefited by having a relationship with Krishna, then that is actually not compassion, that is actually violence. In Bhakti Sasrataka, he defined that the worst type of violence, worse than Auschwitz, which hadn't happened at that time, worse than killing people, worse than uh, whatever kind of violence you can think of in this material world, is to fail to deliver them Krishna consciousness. Because uh, the Hitler and company, they may have killed so many Bodies, but if we if we fail to deliver Krishna consciousness to others, then we're killing the opportunity to get free from birth and death, and killing the opportunity to restore our relationship with Krishna. So comes his compassion, although he no doubt he felt it, but it was temporary, incomplete, only based on the feeling that well, after all, she's my sister just based on a bodily understanding. So, even though Kamsa was sympathetic and feeling something in his heart, still uh, devotees, they can understand that this is not the, uh, this is not on the level of the compassion of a devotee who preaches Krishna consciousness. So, Hari Prabhu is looking at his watch, feeling compassion for the devotees that they also have to take the sadhana. <laughs> and the service are waiting. But Vijay Prabhu told me that Jai Tagmaj went on to 9.30, so he said <laughs> a precedent. Tejiya Samna Doja. Well, I'm not Tejus. I know, I'm saying you can't. I, I, I have faults. I can't find faults in him, but I, if I go on, I have a fault. That's why I stop it. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Shri Bhagavan Mahapurana Ki Jai. The temple of Rupa Mandir. Yes, of Rupa Mandir Ki Jai.